Randy, this is the CI-127, and this is the CI-91. These are the two constitutional instruments guiding the current or upcoming elections. The CI-91, uh, promulgated in 2016, it says, Public elections, registration of voters, regulations, uh, voter, uh, public elections re regulations, emphasis on registration of voters. Now, Randy, when you look at section 22 to 27, this is a section that really focuses on where we are currently, or the subject we are currently discussing, which is the provisional voters register. By the process or the regulations, the EC will go through every single process to register qualified Ghanaians. And by law, the EC is supposed to bring up a document called the Provisional Voters Register. That Provisional Voters Register, according to the law, says the commission shall not later than three months from the end of the registration period compile a provisional register of voters in the country stating the name, age, sex, residential address and showing the photograph of each person whose application for registration was accepted at the registration center. At the end of the compilation of the provisional register as provided in sub-regulation 1, a copy of the provisional reg register shall be given to each registered political party in the form determined by the commission. So once the provisional register is determined, the EC will give every political party that is duly registered a copy of that register. That exercise really is to help the political party as a stakeholder to look at the provisional register and raise any concerns that they have. But it doesn't end there. Because when you look at the CI, it goes further to show us who and what we must do to correct any challenges or errors in the register. It goes to hold the persons or the, the registered voter accountable on the things they have to do. It's a long read. I, I Just help me with something because you yeah. have the CI and you quoted from it. Yeah. So when the political parties detect these anomalies and they bring it to the attention of the electoral commission, yeah. what happens? How 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 do they then? How are they able to find out if indeed those things? No, I, are I, I, I didn't see that section in there because when you when you read the CI from the parts that I've read, it really focuses on the register. I mean the voter. So if I have. Uh, registered. It focuses on what I have to do as a voter. Uh, yeah, so my, point, my question yeah. to you is that, because you quoted that, yeah. my question to you is that if I yeah. went there and I realized that my name uh, was not there or was not at the polling station and I make a complaint to the electoral commission or I go through the short code, pay my yeah. 50 pesos and I realize that I am at the Zenith University uh, polling station, but I've been sent to Wale Wale Primary B, and I make it known to the Electoral Commission. Before election day, yeah. how do I get to know? It has it here. It's a long mm -hmm. read, if you want me to read. It has no, it I, I just so want it to says, find out, yes. It says, claims and objections after, after publication of the pro provisional registers, register of voters. It has the whole thing here. Mm. It has the bit on the exhibition also. Mm. It's a long read. If you want me to go through it, I can go through. No, I, I thought read. maybe the relevant section. Because you see, the exhibition, we are told that the exhibition is for the political parties and individuals. Yes. To go check. Yes. And if they identify some anomalies, they bring it to the attention of the EC for correction. Not so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm trying to find the yes, relevant now, portion to read. Now. From, yeah. When that is done, how do I get the assurance that indeed the rectification has been made? Because if there is no such thing, I get there on election day mm -hmm. and it is not done. What then happens? No, I get you correctly. I'm yes. just trying to, I read it earlier. I'm just trying to find. You saw something like that. Oh yeah, I read it earlier. I'm just trying to find the process 
on how to, to do that. So I can read it. So maybe when... Uh, you know, why I ask that is also, I can, is also I that you see that amongst the, the, the requests that are being made is one of a re-exhibition after uh, the EC okay. has done what... So I've seen yes. something. It says, okay. settling claims and objections on provisional register. Okay, that's is different. It? But your issue has to do with claims. I mean, I have made a... I have gone to check my name. Mm -hmm. I have issues with it. That's a claim. The, the, no, uh -huh. when, when it talks about claims and things, it's talking about uh, the objections and stuff that have been made. I'm just saying that... Okay. When you, yeah. Kofi, you go and uh -huh. check and you realize that your polling station is different and you bring it to the attention of the EC, at which point in time okay. before election day... Okay, so yeah. it has uh, Regulation 25... It says claims and objections after pu publication of provisional register of voters. A person who has a right to have a particular, have the particulars including the name of that person to be included in the provisional register or to, or to object to the inclusion of any name or, um, or the omission of any name from the register may, on the publication of the register, submit a complaint as set out in Form 6 or Form 7 of the schedule, as the case may be of the exhibition officer in, in respect of any matter relating to particulars of a person included or omitted in the provisional register. So this is what happens during the exhibition. Okay. So after this, when, when these claims or objections or, or, or complaints have been made, between then and the election day. Yeah, so I'm yes. saying that I can go through, as he's speaking, I can right, find okay. the right relevant because okay. I'm trying to find that relevant part. I, I just thought that you perhaps had... No, I've read uh, aspects okay. of All it. Right. I've read That's aspects fine. of it this morning. That's fine. So I would have to go through and find the relevant section yeah. you are looking for. That's fine. Because, because I, I'm trying I asked, to do it on the spot. Yeah, I asked that, yeah, ask that thing because... <clears throat> and I, I can understand the point you're making. I asked that thing because, you see, um, it is the Electoral Commission that collected the data yeah. and everything. And then they produced the provisional register. They did, okay, with all the expertise. And then you identify anomalies. Mm -hmm. Who is we here? The party or the and person? Whether party or an individual, okay. you identify those things. Yeah. Okay. Now, you, I know that for those who go to the polling station to check, yeah. because there's an officer there, yeah. Those details will be taken. Yeah. For those who check via the short code, yeah. first of all, there's no provision under the short code system for you to make a complaint. I don't know how many of them do follow up. To their various yeah, but even if they do, okay. even if they do, when they have done that, between when the uh, exhibition ends and voting day, mm -hmm. how are they, are able, they to able to check to, to, check to find out whether? They are changes what they, yes, affected. Okay. because these are people who, first of all, mm -hmm. have decided to go and register, mm -hmm. exercise their civic responsibility. Yeah. They've gone to go and check. Mm -hmm. If they are political parties, they have exercised that responsibility of also checking, which is the reason why they were given the register in the first place. Mm -hmm. They have identified anomalies. The EC concedes that, yes, these are anomalies, and in fact says that that's the more reason why we have the exhibition. Mm -hmm. Now, what then happens between when these anomalies are presented to the EC mm -hmm. and election day itself? No, I get you. How am I comforted? I get you. That the same EC that took my data and everything mm -hmm. and still got me transferred to a place that mm -hmm. I had not requested for or omitted my name from the register without my whatever. What is my comfort that indeed Those I will be... have been affected yes, correctly. Yes, on, fully... on election day when I get there... No. No, I fully get you. Yeah. But Randy, we have history in this nation. This is not the first time we are conducting elections in this country. True. We've conducted elections since 1992 True. in the Fourth Republic. True. So I don't think that process, that bit that you are referring to, mm -hmm. is lost on any political party mm -hmm. as to how that should be done. Mm -hmm. Because this is not the first time an exhibition is being done. And corrections are effected during the exhibition. And then to establish whether the corrections were effected correctly or not, mm -hmm. which is what is your bone of contention. Mm -hmm. I believe 
that this process is laid out and every political party no it, it's not about COVID, it's not about what you believe no but it's Randy, what it's what precedence. exists and precedence. you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying yeah. this uh -huh. throughout the history that you're talking about yeah. you would see that process after process yeah. we strive to make things better yeah, that's I hope why you understand. Yeah, that's why we continue that's to why amend the East. It's because, CIA, because there's nothing like a re-exhibition. That's why I was asking you about the law. I, there's I nothing about saying. a re-exhibition. I'm saying that if I have a constitutional right, yeah. but the constitution imposes a responsibility on me, so all who have the right to vote, voting is not compulsory in Ghana. But if I, as the citizen, I decide to exercise that responsibility, and I go and play my part. And the electoral commission also has a role to play. If I don't go and register, the electoral commission has not disenfranchised me. Yeah. But if I go and register, and the, and the exhibition is there, and I go to check my name, uh -huh. and I have done what I'm supposed to do, under no condition should I be disenfranchised by the electoral commission. I fully get you. So my point is that yeah. if the exhibition, we say that the exhibition is to enable us. Audit identify yes. whatever and do it when we have done that yeah. shouldn't there be another layer which will then assure everybody that mm -hmm. the anomalies the discrepancies that we identified have indeed been dealt with before election day i fully agree with you but the thing is that you and i we are not experts for the, when it comes to these things and that you is why you, you, no 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 the point that i'm making is that mm -hmm. You are asking a question which cl clearly you don't have an answer for. Do you have an answer for No, it? I ask because, you see, you opened the, 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 the act. No, I read the, the, the relevant Sorry. sections of the CI to support the argument no, I'm I was making. I'm not with you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just saying that yeah. you were alluding to the law. Yeah. And my understanding of what you were saying was that, look, the law has made adequate Provision. provisions as yeah, far as the course. CI is concerned. And that is why I asked this question. And I'm saying this because in our whole, if we just take the Fourth Republic, you would see that there have been CIs after CIs after CIs. And all what happens is that every CI, every uh, subsequent CI is intended to improve on the preceding CI mm -hmm. on the basis of things that have been experienced in terms in of... In the past. Yes, yes yeah, it's, I, it's I, usage. I get that. Yes. Yeah, I get that. And that's what I'm saying. That process... Of ensuring that whatever change has been indeed effected cannot be assigned to only this election because we've had instances of exhibitions in the last elections that we did yeah but that's past yeah but that's past so i'm saying that let's go and look at the precedents what was the what, what was the process in the past exhibitions mm -hmm. after the exhibition what was the process mm -hmm. let's look at that and if there are inherent challenges with that process, then we can query it. Because if there was, I am sure, Randy, by now that issue would have popped up. That issue would have found its way in an amended CI mm -hmm. to correct that an, 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 uh, uh, error or challenge. Mm -hmm. I hope you get the point that I'm making. So mm -hmm. there's precedence. Let's go and look at what the process is in the past. Mm -hmm. But I would like to go to the point that I was making. Mm -hmm. So 